When I first had symptoms, which I now realize were psoriatic arthritis, um, that was you know, approximately 20 years ago. I saw multiple doctors um, who treated the symptoms but who never diagnosed me as having any form of arthritis, much less psoriatic arthritis. In 2003, I had a serious flare-up of psoriatic arthritis. I first went to see an orthopedist, um, and he said that the problem was not anything that he dealt with. He referred me to a neurologist and a rheumatologist, and the rheumatologist, uh, she diagnosed me at that time. In terms of my family situation, uh, it made things very difficult with my wife. Uh, from my perspective, she didn't fully understand what I was going through. She would say things that she thought that would be helpful, and they would just get me more upset. With my children, they didn't really understand what was going on. When I was diagnosed, uh, they were little boys. Um, they wanted to play with their daddy. Uh, this was very hard on me emotionally also that I felt that I wasn't being a good father. I wasn't doing the things I wanted to do. When people are aware that I have psoriatic arthritis, they, they inadvertently say, hurtful things, even when they're trying to be helpful. Uh, one of my former bosses once made a comment that he could always tell when I was walking in the hall because I made a different noise than other people who walked. He didn't mean this badly, but it obviously made me feel bad. At various times in my life, I've walked with a cane. Uh, I try not to walk with a cane anymore. Sometimes I have to. When people see you with a cane, their whole image and attitude towards you changes.